Hi guys, my name is Adam Stevenson and today I would like to give you some tips on how you can maintain your angles in your golf swing. Now what does that mean? Um, a lot of times golfers that are struggling consistent with consistent shots, uh, they have created perhaps really good angles in their setup but have a difficult time maintaining them in their golf swing. So how do we create great angles in our setup? First and foremost, we would be bending over from the hips. Now that's creating a great angle. So the reason for that is because the ball's on the ground, we play golf with the ball on the ground, we need to create those angles. But once we create them in our setup, we need to maintain them. So this exercise today is gonna to help you to maintain your angles. So what you need to do is once you've created your great setup, I want you to think in your backswing, I want you to get a feeling of going deep and deep rotation with your trail hips. So you're really loading your trail glute here. Now that's gonna, it's gonna be a really feeling as though the weight's transferring into your trail heel and the rotation is going here. And what's happening when we're doing this is we're actually preventing ourselves from making one of the number one uh, problems I see with golfers that are struggling with consistency, and that is when they swing back, they sway. So their trail hip goes to the side. And that creates a really steep angle here in our torso and our upper body. So we want to try and eliminate that by going deep with our trail hip in the backswing. Um, when we go deep with our trail hip, we are actually maintaining room to maintain our angles. We're creating room, sorry, to maintain our angles here so that we can tilt with our lead shoulder in the backswing, creating this great uh, room here so you're able to maintain these fantastic angles you've created in your setup. So uh, this exercise I want you to do it's just simply a thought process. I want you to try and feel in the backswing that you're going deep with your trail hip behind you so you're able to create those angles in your backswing. Give it a try. And that's going to give you actually great feeling here that you're able to rotate and create your angles, maintain your angles, and in the forward swing, do the exact same thing. So in the forward swing, we're able to simply rotate forward and go deep with our lead hip in the forward swing again creating space to maintain those angles through the shot there that's going to lead to consistency now i have an exercise for you to do at home in the gym you're going to need a medicine ball but i want to show you this exercise because it's fantastic it's going to give you the feeling of how you're going to be able to rotate it go deep and to be able to feel, get a feeling of loading your trail hip in your back swing let's go to the exercise and then we'll come back and finish this up here all right guys, so here's a couple of quick exercises for you to work at, as I mentioned, at home or in the gym. Uh, this is a three kilogram medicine ball I have here, nothing too heavy, maybe one or two kilos is perfect for you. Just to teach your body the correct segment to uh, move and to move a little bit of weight and to uh, try and find out how to move and maintain these angles. Right, so the first exercise is uh, standing with your feet together, you have your wall across from you and maybe a couple meters from the mall is good just to get a little bit of distance so you can throw this ball down at an angle perhaps time it so it can come back to you and you can catch it we'll give it a go here feet together now this is simulating the back swing so i want you to again focus on going deep with your trail hip and your lead shoulders slightly down so you're creating space just like your back swing now balls are up over your shoulder as if it was the back swing. We want to start the downswing, not with the ball, not with your arms, but we want to start the downswing, the forward movement with our lead leg moving towards the wall. So it's simulating that first movement in your downswing, in your golf swing. Great exercise here. So, ball up over shoulder. We're starting with the lead leg and we're throwing the ball down in like a chop movement here. So the ball's going down at like a 45 degree angle towards the ground. The great thing about that is that you're maintaining your angles in the back swing, but you're also getting in the forward swing because when you initiate that movement with your lead leg and then throw the ball down at this 45 degree angle, you pretty much force yourself to rotate this lead hip, go deep with that so that you can maintain this angle with your trail shoulder throwing the ball down. If you didn't, then you'd probably do this and that wouldn't hit the ground. So 45 degree angle is what we're working on here. That's the first exercise. Try doing eight of them on each side. So you work bilaterally, so you balance your body out. Now the second exercise, that was an up to down going movement. Now we want to work on it down to up going movement. The way we do that actually is by uh, taking this medicine ball and uh, taking your feet at shoulder width, come down. And as we go down, you're going to feel, it's almost like you're taking a squat, but turning to the side at the same time with this ball here, it'll be quite good, you'll feel it for sure. 
as we're turning and we're coming down, we're gonna feel this trail glute. So this simulates the backswing loading of the trail glute. And uh, as you're coming up, I want you to try and work on lifting up with your lower body so that you're swinging this ball up over your lead shoulder. And as you're doing this, I want you to try and maintain these angles. So this trail shoulder, just like the golf swing, it's going down, it's going down even though we're going up. Let's give it a go. Boom. Yes. Yeah, so eight of those on each side. Again, feeling as though your lower body is lifting this ball up. It's an explosive movement here coming up, but at the same time, we're maintaining those angles. Two great exercises for you to work at at home or in the gym to work on maintaining those angles. Enjoy. All right, guys. So there's a couple exercises for you and a great swing drill to help you to maintain your angles in your golf swing so that you can hit the ball more consistently and hopefully enjoy yourself more out on the golf course because you're playing better golf. Once again, my name is Adam Stevenson. Thank you so much for joining us today. And if you enjoyed this video, please uh, click subscribe on the link below here so you join our YouTube channel because I've got plenty more tips coming your way. Thanks for now, guys. Catch you next time. Bye.